In this video, we frame out for a suspended slab on a house. streets back from the beach. Look at that for a crazy looking house. This is where we're working. Built with round earth. So there's some curved walls over there. First is set our props to height. Put my tape on the wall. Cool thing with these Milwaukee tapes. Every 450, which is your common center, it has a mark. 450, 900. Just keep your prop off the wall a bit so you got room to operate the prop. I'm putting two nails per prop because these are my setup props. They're the most important ones. I don't want them to fall. When I do my back propping props, just the I can just get away with one nail. Now this whole um, little setup here isn't locked into a whole room, so it could fall this way. It's a cool little easy trick. Rather than put a prop and well, there's heaps of ways we do this. This is an easy way. It's clamped it, done. It's not going to come off. We have to put another bearer through the center here. And again, so that I don't have to nail things when I'm up there, I don't want to have to get on the ladder again and nail the props. I can pre nail nails in this now. That's for my props. And then because I've got the nail there ready to pop this. Let's have to do this. Done. Easy and simple. Something I've done with these is I've already pre-nailed them for my props and I've already marked on the side there all my joist positions. Morning, so it's the second day on site here. Um, I did a short day on the first day, got low on gear. In the first video, I lost a lot of footage. I kept pressing the wrong buttons on my camera. So hopefully I can get it. I'll show you how to put up a medium sized room. And then later on, I've got a balcony to put up out here. The five P's, prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. I think that's six P's. We always run headers the short way, joists the longest way in the room. Um, so I'm gonna set it all out on the ground. First thing I do is just check how I'm gonna run the sheets as well, because that determines where my joists are gonna land. We got four 390. So if I go two 18s, the sheets are 18 by 12. So if I go 18s, three six leaves me an 800 rip, too big. So what I wanna do is go 18, 18 off one wall. And then off the other wall, we're gonna go 12 and 12. It comes to 2.4. And that leaves me a 190 rip in the middle. Pretty much if your rips work out to be 600 or larger, there's a better way you can lay your sheets. Now on the ground I've laid two headers, which is gonna be the end one and the end one of the joist. So I'm gonna mark out all the joist centers on it. So I've laid it out hard to the walls, simulating how it's gonna be positioned. So 450 centers up to 1800, which is the sheet join. So because that's a sheet join, I put a star on it. And from the other side, we're going 
12 and 12, which is 400 centers. Two point four is the end one. Star that. Now what I'm going to do is mark out where my props will go, and I'll pre-nail that. So from the ends, we come in two fifty. That first mark to the end mark three nine. We can't get the ideal spacing on this, so we're just going to go to less. It's nine seventy five. I actually need two more of these, so I'm just going to bring them in and copy these measurements. So as soon as possible, put a timber on to lock this in. So what, what we've got to do now is put on the outside header. Now these bits can be a bit nerve wracking for people who haven't done this before. The timber's floating in mid-air, it's not going to lock in with anything, like it's on the outside of the wall. So it can fall over really easy. The key thing is just have everything ready, have a joist ready to put on, lock it in, and have, select the best props that you have with the best base. So it's nice and stable, less likely to fall over. Now, if you happen to be wondering why I'm leaving so many props out, apart from being easy to build, is so that when I go to level, I don't have too many props to level. This is the bare essential. So now when I laser this in, I only have to wind nine props to level this room. If I put the rest of the props in, I might have to wind 20 props to level this room. It takes too long. So these props will go in after I've leveled in. Unfortunately, my memory card ran out of room, so I missed the last few bits of setting up this room and I had a few cool tricks, but I'll show you later or in another video. But anyway, that's it, all joists out, just lightly braced. So now what we're gonna do is level the whole thing, back prop it, so that I can get these sheets loaded up on top. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna start leveling out the whole job, but what I need to do first is just check the brickwork. We need our deck nice and level, so I just, check it all and I find out if there's a high point or low point. Perfect. That's it, whole room level. So now that now that the whole room's level, we can go through and put in all of our back props. Thanks for watching this quick video on how to frame up for a suspended slab. Make sure you come back and watch the next video and I'll show you guys how we lay the ply up there and finish off the job ready for concrete.